Mike check one two one two. Mike check one two one two. Was good as your boy, the blackest of mics, aka the Black Mike, and this is the Black Mike TV. Welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to export stems and multi tracks out of your door for mixing. So some of y'all think multi track and stems are the same. I'm gonna show you guys the difference. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, so if you clicked on this video, of course, you know what this is. I'm gonna show you guys how to export stems and multi-tracks. So before we get into all that, I need to let y'all know what the difference between stems and multi-tracks are. Most people think they are the same thing, but they're not. Stems are stereo tracks that are either single or a compilation of other tracks, right? So if you're talking about drum stems, it's not just one drum. It's a collective of drums all made into a two track. That's a drum stem, right? A multi-track is in this same example would be multiple tracks laid out individually. So we got your kick, your snare, your hi-hat, your open hi-hat, your cymbals and percussions. All of those would be grouped together to ultimately form a drum stem. So drum stem, drums, multi-track drums, right? Without further ado, let's just get into it. Let me show you guys how to do that within it though. I have this session and I wanna export all of the stems. So the way that I would export all of the stems is as such. I would highlight all of them. I would select all of the tracks and then go to export audio. So now I export audio, selected tracks only. And I like to send my waves and stems, sorry, I like to send my stems as waves, not MP3s, because I'm gonna be mixing it. So I want the highest quality and uh, waves are much higher quality than MP3s. I hope you should know that by now. So I put that onto on, I like my bit to be 24 and uh, everything seems about right. Um, just to confirm, now I'm gonna X out of this. I'm going to highlight this loop because this loop is perfectly how it ends how i want it to fade i already made my markers here so i know that so i'm gonna go back to uh export and uh, everything is selected the way i wanted to make sure i'm on select the tracks only because i don't want reverb delay or the master i already have those taken care of right so export export to a particular file which is this is the name of the file so we are good to go let me get a uh, the name of the track so the name of this track is uh sensual sensual isley right that's it not a the end all be all name just the work in progress right so boom hit save and wait for that to continue on shouldn't take long a lot of my sessions run at 48 hertz as opposed to 44 just high quality, uh, like I prefer. And then after that, when it goes to MP3, it obviously ends at 44.16, but all, um, a lot of my working sessions are 48.24 bits. So uh, if you don't know anything about that, I'm not gonna make a video on that because that's boring shit, um, but very necessary stuff. So if you guys want me to make a video about that, which I don't want to, um, just Google it or YouTube it. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it because yeah, that's like engineering theory. But anyway, you take my word for it or not, do your own research. Uh, here we are. So that pretty much uh, brings us to the end of that. I just sent out a stem for this drum track and I didn't want it to be a stem. This is what my drum track sounds like. So I don't want that to be the end all be all. I don't want it just to be that. When I get into my mixing doll, which I'm gonna be moving into pro mixing this in Pro Tools, when I'm gonna be doing that, I do not want to have to mix that entire stem together. I wanna be able to have control over the kick. I wanna be able to have control over the snares, the hi-hats, and all other percussion sounds separately. So 
I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. Pardon the interruption, but I just wanted to check in on y'all, making sure that y'all are enjoying this video. And if you are, hit me with a like, subscribe, even share, comment, all that good stuff, uh, because that helps with the algorithm that shows YouTube that y'all rocking with the boy. And we are trying to get to 1,000, so please hook it up. So uh, without further ado, let's get back into the video. To be able to take your drum rack, drums, and separate them without having to retract them, right? There's so many different ways around it. Let me uh, get you to a way that works for me. So I'm gonna start with, I have to strategically pick which one I'm gonna use because as you see, I always put a drum bus on my drums, right? And that just makes it pump even more. But the only thing I really want to pump is the kick. So what I'm gonna do is begin to separate all of the hi-hat or the other percussion parts. So let's start with uh, this right here. So that's the, the clap here. So I'm gonna take this sound and drag it down here where it says drop file and device. And what that does is create an entire another drum rack, but only for the particular sound that I just dragged down, excuse me. So here we go. That is just that clap that I wanted. So I'm gonna rename this, uh, rename it, clap. That's that simple enough. And then I'm gonna repeat the process with all the other drums that I want to be on this own track. So I want that. What I'm going to do is select those additional four tracks. What's that? Five tracks, excuse me. Uh, additional five tracks and uh, export those just like I exported the previous stems. So just hit that, boom, everything is the way it's supposed to be. It's still under selected tracks only and go back to export, same thing. Hit save and that is pretty much pretty much it wait for it to export so now the entire point of me doing that is simply to have full control by having the individual multi-tracks versus a drum stem i create my drum stems later on but i create those after i put a final mix on this remix versus you know, just having to live with that. I want full control up until my mix. And then when I finalize my mix, that's when I can give you, uh, I can provide those stems, the mixed stems. But this is how you do that in Ableton and the fundamentals are the same in other DAWs. So again, like I tell you, if you would like to see me doing this in a DAW of your choice, another DAW, let's say FL Studio, let's say Logic, let's say Pro Tools. I can create a video about that. All right, so that about wraps up this video on how to export stems from your DAW. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll show you how to import stems into your DAW of choice for mixing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed, you got value out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I definitely answer your questions or if you feel like I just want to know what you're feeling about the videos, period. Are you guys liking the content that I'm putting out? Um, so yeah, with that said, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, all that good stuff because we're trying to go off for 2021. But anyway, hope all is well with you guys. Stay tuned next time. This is Black Mike TV. Peace. Fire! 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 Fire!